Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to a table, my friend's table. <laughs> Today, I just wanted to do a bit of a uh, a bit of a collection video, a bit of an update, and an unboxing at the end. Let's uh, get right into it. Recently picked up this squid bag. Very much like it. Keeping everything in here. Let's start off. Start off simple. We got our, you know, good old fashioned squiddy. Good? Yeah. I really enjoy this thing. It's a blast. Um, it's super loud because I lost the little silencer things that it takes, which I need to get. Um, but it's a really cool little TSA safe guy. Like, I really enjoy it because, you know, you can bring it on planes, you can bring it on flights without having to deal with all that hassle of putting it in a check bag or whatever, or TSA freaking out. Um, you can just be like, hey, it's plastic, and they're pretty chill about it. Um, for the the price, obviously, it has what people call squiddy syndrome, where it's like it's like super light. The um, it flips like strange compared to everything else. So you kind of have to get used to it. But um, I think once you do get used to it, it's a really great flipper. And if you switch to this often, it kind of minimizes the uh, squiddy syndrome because you know you get used to switching knives uh, with weird balance and weird weight. Or I I think th I'd say this is balanced pretty well. Like. Once you get used to it, you can flip it pretty good. You can do a lot of things that you would want to do. And for the price, it's a really great uh, little guy. Next up, we have its younger brother, which is like the shiniest thing known to man. Um, I love this guy. It is Al, the Squiddy AL. Absolutely blinding in sunlight, but you know, this thing is really cool. Um, I basically got this because I was at a knife convention the other week and felt like I couldn't leave uh, without picking something up from the Squid Booth because I love their products. So I picked up one of these. Um, honestly, a great, great little flipper. Like, I think it has a little bit of the Squiddy Syndrome just because it it's kind of odd, but like at the same time, I really enjoy it. Um, it's pinsless, which is pretty cool. Um, I think this is the only pinsless knife or like bow song that I have. Um, yeah, it is. Um, but like for the price, it's like $80 or whatever. Um, I've dropped this on concrete and yeah, it gets kind of dinged up if you can see that there, but like it's $80 and it flips really good for $80. Like I can do everything I want to do on this. Um, and it's just such a nice little guy to have around. Um, plus he's got a, he's got a smiley face. Like how can you, how can you deny this face? There we go. See, look at him. He's so happy. And um, I actually really like the sound. It's kind of loud, but like, I, I just, I enjoy it. Um, I think it's a really nice little piece to have and it's, it's just a fun little thing to flip. It's easy to flip in public because this is like the most not a knife balisong you can get, like trainer. And, um, for being on washers, the freaking tolerances are like kind of ridiculous. Like Lucas just has a way with washers that I don't understand. So yeah, there's that guy. Next up, we have this guy, which I got two weeks ago, I think. Um, it is a Nabali's and Will Hirsch, as you can see on here, Vulp. Um, ever since Will started uploading stuff in like 2018, I think, I've always watched it. Um, I took a big break from the community for about a year now, like a little over a year, and I've recently been getting back into it, basically due to the recent knife show I was at. I was like, oh, Squid's gonna be in town, I'll just go and see what's up, and I got to hang out with a bunch of flippers, and it was just a fun time, and that kind of put me back on uh, 
the radar for everything, you know, looking at stuff. Um, this thing, uh, like basically watching Will's videos, getting back to that, watching Will's videos was uh, one of the reasons I wanted to get back into it. And seeing him create not only the regular Volt, but something like this, like this is like a really good flipper for like $140 or whatever. And it sounds really cool. I like that. Um, but yeah, uh, like, I don't know, just this thing's like actually competitive. It's actually good. Um, to me personally, I'm not a big fan of the way the jimping looks on ballast songs, but the way that it feels is really nice. Um, it just flips super well. The, the way the G10 was inlaid and I love the, I love the blade as well. And this color scheme with the black and gold. Um, just looks so cool. But yeah, um, really like this thing. I think it's really cool to have. So, yeah. Next up, first good trainer. This thing has been through everything. Um, I've had this thing for probably six years now. Um, currently has a bite handle marker on it because I'm teaching my homie Hyro how to flip. Um, this is a 2.5 dual tone red. Um, the other week I tuned it to no tap, uh, by the other week, I mean like a long ass time ago. Um, and I don't know. It's just the ring is there. The ring is sick. This thing is super loud, but I absolutely love it. I love the way it looks. I love the way it flips. It's uh, flipping to me is pretty unique. Like I don't, I feel like this is the only thing that flips like this, at least from what I've tried. Definitely has a unique sound. Um, but yeah, I, I just, I don't know. I am in love with this thing and I'm planning on getting another one eventually, a newer one. Just cause like, I don't know. I think they're really cool. And for the price, they're like what, 170 or something. They flip super well. Um, this one I'm never, I, like, I'm never going to get rid of. This is one of my mainstays. This thing has been through a bunch of crap. As you can tell, it's absolutely minced. Um, and I just, I can't get rid of it just because of that. Like, even if I get, like, I have things that flip better than this now, but like, it's unique and it's good. Like, that's the thing. Like, just, be, just because you have a knife that objectively flips worse than another knife in your collection doesn't mean you need to sell the one that's worse because it can give you a different perspective like this like objectively flips worse than the other knives in my collection like some of the other knives in my collection but i think it's so much fun and such a good uh flipper to have around that like it offers a different experience and it, it just means a lot to me to have so yeah we have the nautilus this one uh, is a V1, I believe. Um, it's had its problems with uh, tuning and tang pins, as a lot of these have had in the past. Um, but I had a V2 for a while that I got rid of. I don't honestly know why I, I want to get another one because they're they're really good. But um, the V2 pretty much solves all the issues that I have with this thing. But flipping wise. This thing is awesome. This thing is so cool. Um, it weighs nothing. Uh, it's distributed super well. It's like, you can really get going with this thing and I think it's super unique. Um, I remember the first time I flipped one of these, I was like, it, it felt super strange to me in a good way. Um, and obviously you can tell, I need to clean this one up. This one's also a beater like the other squid trainer, but like, I, I take this thing everywhere. Um, I absolutely love it. And also, if you do have any issues with these, um, send them into Squid. Fix them for free. Um, always have great customer service with those guys. So, yeah. Um, but, like, in terms of flipping, it's super unique. It's really light um, for, like, a, for a metal knife. For something that's not, you know, made of plastic. Uh, or metal balisong, I should say. Um, feels super unique, super quiet when it's, uh, tuned properly. This, 
this one obviously isn't, you know, but um, when it's tuned down, this thing is super quiet, sounds really cool. Um, and the way this thing flips, like you can just do whatever the heck you want with it. You can, like I've learned so many tricks on this just because of how easy it is to, to flow with and it's just so predictable and so nice and so smooth. Um, yeah, I really love this thing. Uh, this is a rep. This is one of three. <laughs> uh, um, surprisingly, this thing has been beat to crap and I tuned it the other week, didn't think I was gonna get anywhere. Um, it doesn't have any, or well, it does a little bit. Let's see if I can do this right. It has a little bit of tap. Well, like I'm not the biggest, um, you know, I don't really care a whole lot if a knife has tap, unless if I keep it nice, um, which there's only a few in my collection that I do. But like this thing has been like beat to crap. Um, the tip is like literally gone. But yeah, it fell on a uh, rock straight down and tip got absolutely annihilated. So it's, it's literally gone. Um, yeah, uh, this was already a beater before I got it. I've got this about two years ago, I'd say. And um, I just basically, what happened was I wanted a beater rep and I also had a few of my knives in storage because I went to college and uh, my parents sold the house. So uh, they went to storage and I couldn't find them for like the longest time and I finally got them back. So that's another reason I want to do this video. Um, but yeah, this was basically covering for my main rep, which you guys will see in a minute. Um, and I just love the way these things flip. I, I'm not a, I don't know. BRS isn't my favorite company anymore, but I still like very much respect them and respect what they've done. And I've always, I always loved replicants. They're just, I don't know, ever since I got into the hobby, the rep was one of my grail knives and I still absolutely love it to this day. So yeah, this one's just a beater. We have the CF Alt. This is one of the best flipping knives I've ever handled. Freaking love this thing. It's a beater as well, but it's not beat to absolute shit like the other one. Um, as you can tell, it still actually has some resemblance of a tip. Um, but yeah, this thing is just sick. Um, I love the sound on it. Um, it's just, it's a really incredible knife. Um, the, the carbon fiber feels really smooth. It's not as grippy as the G10, um, but it's still, because of the way these handles were designed, it still has more than enough grip. Um, got the standard tie liners. This thing's pretty much stock, so. Um, yeah, and with the alt blade, just the way this thing carries momentum, this combo of handles and blade just is so cool. I freaking love it. Um, and yeah, it was just another knife I really wanted to have for like the longest time. And I was like, you know what? I might as well pick one up. So I got one a couple years ago. So yeah, CF Alt Rep. This is the knife I've had for the longest, I think other than the Squid Trainer. Um, this thing is my original replicant, which I have since murdered out, and there's a bunch of oil on the blade right now, so that's why it's super shiny. Um, this thing has gone through so many iterations. It started as a, it started like five years ago as a white and purple premium rep. You can still see the little inlay for the pocket clip here. Um, this thing is, yeah, it was white and purple. I then got a fade anno that was a similar color to this with, it went from teal to purple. Um, and then I swapped the handles with one of my friends and got these black ones. I honestly don't know why, cause I still prefer the white ones and wish I had the white ones, but you know, it is what it is. Um, then I wiped the finish on the, I wiped the anno on the, um, what's it called, on the liners, cause it was starting to fade. And I don't know, I was like super picky about it back then. So I just completely wiped it, went back to 
like regular stone wash like the this other beater route you know just and stone wash and then I had the blade acid washed because I got tired of it rusting um, and I preferred the way it looked and then recently and by recently I mean like two years ago because this thing has been in storage um, I sent it to Garrett to I am not a real boy and had the blade and the uh, liners DLC coated. This is a coating that will like never ever come off and it looks really awesome. Um, yeah, I love I love the way it looks. Um, you know, still like these two basically flip the same. Um, they're really, really good. I absolutely love this thing. Um, and then this is basically just like if I want to flip this outside or like over concrete basically. Um, this thing I is probably, this is one of two safe queens I have just because I am, I don't know, I'm really particular about this one. It was the first live blade I ever had, um, which I'm like very fortunate in that sense. Uh, you know, I stayed up, waited for the drop, did all the, all the crazy crap. The servers were awful back then. I don't, I don't know how they are today, but, um, you know, this thing is just legendary to me and... I love it, and I'm never ever getting rid of this one. Um, but yeah, first live blade ballast song, and it's been through a ton of stuff, and I love it. So yeah, which is a uh, Kraken by Squid Industries. Um, this particular one, this particular one is a um, what do they call it? The inked dual tone. Um, I've had this one for a couple years. It was also in storage, but this is a 2.5, I believe. Um, cause it has the like faux speed channel things in there. Um, I absolutely love this knife though. It is terrifying. Um, on Monday, which I'm filming this on Friday, but on Monday of this week, uh, this thing absolutely annihilated my foot. Um, and I have been walking funny until today. Uh, it's been a really great time because it is terrifying and super sharp. Um, but it flips really well and I absolutely love the way this thing flips. And I used to have a, I had a first proto that I gave to Knifeyak or sold to Knifeyak. And then I had a beater, a couple beater ones as well. And I'm planning to get a beater of the, uh, the ties, the tie Krakens when they come out. Because I got to flip that at the knife show that I was at recently, and it was just incredible. And I want another Tonto Kraken. I freaking love the way this blowy looks, but I want another Tonto Kraken just because I think it's classic. Um, and then I also hope to pick up a Weehawk at some point, but that's kind of lower on the priority list because he just, like, he revealed those, I think, a while ago. But he's like, he's like, you know, they're starting to ramp up production and all that. Um on those and I think those are really cool but um I just want another Tonto Beater Kraken and the uh the um what's it called the titanium ones just flipped super well but yeah I love this knife um really cool really scary uh because of how freaking sharp and menacing it is if my camera would focus it flips incredible. The tolerances are great. For the price, honestly, like, I don't care that it's aluminum. It flips super good. Um, I think these have set the standard in the past few years for just one of the best knives for the price. Yeah, these are just awesome. And I don't think this one is ever leaving my collection. And I plan to get more because they're just so sick. Speaking of, we're on to the last knife, which is this uh the last ballast song um i flipped one of these at the knife show and didn't have the money at the time to pick it up but you know had to had to do it uh we have our you know our little shipping stuff and oh they changed the box well that tells you everything you need to know um, got a little sticker guy.
Yeah, sick. Okay. Well, it got really dusty in here because that box got open. I, I'm dumb at opening boxes. Um, let me open this up really quick. All right, let's see. What do they include here? Lifetime warranty. Sick. Um, I'm guessing this is hardware. Ah, uh, yes. Extra hardware in this little baggie. Um, always nice to have. Learn how to flip from squid. All right, let's open this guy up. Let's move this out of the way. Here she is. This, my friends, is the Madco. Um, and I will get into the reasons for buying it. That's so cool. Okay, um, yeah, first impressions, I guess. Uh, well, not really, because I, I flipped one at the show and I thought it was incredible, and I still feel that way. Um, I basically uh, was wanting to get something channel titanium. I haven't had a channel titanium knife in a while, and I wanted to get an Alpha Beast, but when I flipped this, I was like, holy crap, this thing is awesome. So, um, you know, I've had my share of ABs in the past, and this is something new to me, so I was like, you know what, why not? Um, and it's really cool, and the reason I didn't get it anodized is because I plan to beat it. Because <laughs> um, I think this thing would make a great beater with the stonewash finish already on it and the now hardened steel blade. This thing is just so cool to me. Um, it sounds awesome. It has a ring, like kind of a... Um, I guess it's no longer a squid characteristic because a lot of knives are starting to have it, but um, obviously it started with the uh, squid trainer. But the interesting thing about this is it only rings when it fl when you're flipping it. But yeah, I wanted something channel titanium. This obviously has a speed channel in it, but you know, I wanted channel titanium. Um, that's why I also plan to get the... Uh, tie crack in as well as a tsunami at some point that I um ever since the tsunami came out I've always wanted one I think they flip incredibly um and I just yeah I love I love the way those things flip and I think it would just be sick to support Lucas and get their top end grail knife you know there's the collection I got I got them stacked up on my friend's book here Sure, I don't, I don't know what this is, but yeah, we got, again, Bowie Kraken, fresh to the group, Madco, we got my original rep, Old Faithful, we got Beater Rep, just cause it's fun, uh, we got... CF rep, because it's really freaking good. Um, we got the Nautilus. We just hit a record limit, but yeah, we got the Nautilus. And I just love, like, this thing is just so cool. I, I love the way this thing flips. Um, we got the Squid Trainer. First good trainer. Uh, never getting rid of this thing. Super, super dope, because this is like, you know, first aluminum product and everyone was like, you can't do that. And then they did it and it freaking took off. Got the Volt Pro. Um, really interesting flipper for the price. I lo absolutely love the design on this thing. Flips very good. Uh, sounds pretty interesting. And yeah, I love what the, I love what Will and Brandon as well as the Bally's have been coming up with. So yeah. That is the Volt Pro. Then we got Al. Squiddy AL. 
just had to have it at that show. And I am not regretting my purchase as a as a public flipper, like a little EDC guy, you know. I just love this thing. I can't flip over a table. And then we got the uh, final TSA friendly little dude that is extremely loud and I need to find the silencers. I don't know where they went. You can get like these little rings that go up on here and they quiet it down so it doesn't make that slapping sound. But yeah, love this thing. I have it's painted clear on the side because that's a funny reference to some YouTuber. Um, and yeah, that is my collection for now. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, I hope to get back with some more content and yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. Um, this is really fun to shoot. I don't know. It's super random. Um, I just felt like doing it today. So yeah. Thank you guys. I will see you in the next one. The pains of war. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, blood has been... Blood has been sp spewn. <laughs> I just got the craziest B-roll of your knee. Uh. Okay, okay, ready to go. Mm. Yeah. Go close up with a knife. Uh, Alright, bud. You ready? Yeah, yeah. Hard. Kind of. Kind of. Because I'm also locked in. <laughs> All right, we're good. Oh, whip something nice. Give me something nice. Dude, it went out of focus on the last trick. Oh,